Yo, welcome to the Vibe Provider Podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin Friel, and today's my birthday. <laughs> I'm using today's episode to celebrate. Where today's episode is a Q&A. I went to Instagram on my personal and Vibe Provider Podcast Instagram and asked you guys to ask me any questions and we'll answer it for my episode today. So I hope you're like a tiny bit excited. If you're not, like literally no worries. So guess we'll just, oh, it's just me today. No guests, which it has been a minute since it's just been you and I. So what's up? Missed ya. So I guess we'll do life updates. I actually just got back from Hawaii this week and my sleep schedule is trash. I'm a little bit depressed about it because I take sleep so seriously um before Hawaii I was like ready for bed at like 9 p.m I'm like a sleepy girl like I need to sleep um so anyways we actually went to bed really early in Hawaii and would wake up really early in Hawaii while we were there which was nice but like really early in Hawaii is still like midnight hour time and like 8 a.m our time so maybe 9 a.m. Anyways, so what I'm trying to say is like your girl's tired. So Hawaii was so good. I ate island snow, which is my favorite shaved ice, but actually fun fact, I had a friend visit Hawaii and she got island snow and she was like, I literally don't know what you're talking about. Island snow is like not even good. And I was a little bit shocked, but I love it. It's so good. I really just go get the pog and lily koi flavors so I really don't know like what other flavors to mess with honestly like not gonna lie there are some white people in front of us in line and I'm white by the way so this is saying something and they were like ordering their flavors and I was literally like why would you order that anyways I was just being judgmental like shame on me like who cares it's not that serious like just let them get their flavors they want so I don't know why I was getting why I cared but literally I only mess with pog mostly pog like p-o-g passion orange guava and (laughs) freaking love freaking love um what else oh we had bonsai bowls love I could me and Kalal like constantly talk about bonsai bowls at least once a month I guess I should fill you in on what bonsai bowls is. Aye, aye, aye. So, um, actually, fun fact, Brock and Boston and Alyssa told us about bonsai bowls and they literally changed my life. So shout out to my homies because I think about bonsai bowls at least twice, three times a month. Um, you can get bon. Oh my gosh. I still haven't told you what it is. Like if you logged off, like I literally don't blame you, but anyways, if you're still here, how do they do that? I'm trying to do like a heart with my fingers to the camera anyways. Um, okay. Freaking bonsai bowls already. Am I right? Um, so it's an acai place and it's amazing. So, but I'm a snob. I do not just go to any acai place honestly because if I see them scooping it out of a tub I'm like actually never mind like you can keep my money I'm out of here because the like dark purple like scoop that they're scooping is just not it it's like super sugary and it's not I don't know before I hate on it I should probably just it's not that serious so I should just move on so anyways bonsai bowls is different because They take the acai, but then they also blend fruit and other things into your bowl. So like I get Maui Sunrise and they blend like mango chunks. They put juice in it, other things into the blend. Then they put granola on the bottom. They put your acai blend and then more granola. Oh, and they put coconut shreds and that's a game changer. And then it comes with strawberries, bananas, and blueberries and then this is what you need to do add peanut butter Mm -hmm. freaking good so they have bonsai bowls in 
California, like up and down the coast, I think that's the most north is Santa Monica and the most south is like San Clemente. Anyways, there's two locations on Hawaii, Sunset and Haleiwa. So anyways, enough about bonsai bowls. Literally. Wow. I could have a podcast episode just about that. So sorry for talking your ear out. So actually, I'm not sorry about talking your ear off about it because like you should just go. What else about Hawaii? I was just floating, guys, in the water. I was just, my soul was getting healed, so. Oh, and the reason why we went to Hawaii is because our nephew knew he came home from a church mission. He went to Japan, so he came home, and we, like, literally, he got off the plane, and then we, like, went to the beach, so. It was seriously so much fun. Um, I just hung out with, like, my in-laws and my oldest niece and nephew, and it was a freaking blast, so. Okay, and now for my birthday, I'm going to Disneyland, which I've told you in past episodes, but like now it's finally here. So um, two friends, actually, you guys know Emily. She did the Taylor Swift podcast episodes with me and our friend, our mutual friend, Megan, are going to Disneyland because we all have March birthdays and it's finally here. We leave on Sunday and we go to Disneyland on Monday. California Adventure on Tuesday, come home on Wednesday, and we are so pumped. Um, So these friends were like, we should dress up. So to Disneyland, we're dressing up like princesses, like Disney bounding, if you've ever heard of it. But it's like not super crazy Disney bounding, like if you know, you know kind of thing. So my friend is doing, is going to be like Rapunzel. So she got Rapunzel ears and then she's wearing like pink Lululemon leggings and a Lululemon like half zip that's purple. And yeah, she's Rapunzel. And then for me, I'm going to be Moana because I have Moana Mickey or I have Moana mini ears. So I have like a free people hotshot onesie in like a cream tan color and then like a salmon color comfort colors t-shirt. I hope, I think, actually, no clue if we're going to look like the princesses. And then our friend Megan, she is going to be, I think she said she wanted to be Daisy Duck. So I'm not really sure what she's wearing. I haven't asked. So that was my B. Sorry about it, Meg. And then the next day, our friend Megan has Lightning McQueen Crocs. And so we all got these embroidered um, crewnecks from Etsy. She's being Lightning McQueen. My friend Emily's being Mater and I'm being Sally. You already know we're about to take a sick pic in Cars Land. So catch us on IG. We'll be posting. And I've literally been saving so many videos and things of like what to eat in Disneyland and California Adventure. So your girl has been saving her money. And fun fact, I actually can't tell you guys one thing because it's a surprise, but I got my friends and myself something to do in Disney while we're there. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, like literally no worries and I'll share it on my next episode. Um, so that's a surprise because if they listen to this before our trip, it like won't be a surprise. You feel? And I'm literally going to talk your ear off about bonsai bowls again. So we're actually flying out in the evening on Wednesday. And you already know I'm dragging them to Huntington Beach to go to bonsai bowls. And so, yeah, I'm going to change their lives, hopefully. And if they don't like it, I'm literally going to be shocked. But it is what it is. So, but they seem pumped about it. So it's cool. Um, okay. And then, yeah, I guess this life update is going on for forever. So if you like freaking hate my life, I'm literally so sorry. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of senior photos coming up. The season is here. Um, my April and May is always swamped with senior photos and I don't mind it at all. I actually really enjoy it. So I have literally five booked already and I have like more wanting to book. So that's good for me. And also, I got a new freaking water bottle. Because I'm a consumer. I'm a consumer. It's a hydro drug, the traveler one that, like, literally doesn't spill. If you're watching the YouTube channel, you're, like, probably in awe right now. But anyways, it's my favorite color blue. And it's so cute. And it doesn't spill. And I can literally throw it in my backpacks. So we love 
Okay, my goodness, we're moving on. You guys are troopers, so pat yourself on the back for listening to all of that. Um, okay, I like to update my current hyperfixation because I literally am always going through new hyperfixations. So, new current hyperfixation, Nani swimsuits, Nani swimwear. I actually have been wearing Nani swimsuits since like 2021, I want to say, and I'm obsessed. They literally, they're like, a, they're kind of more like an adventure brand swimsuit company. Like there's some that are like super tiny and cheeky and adorable and that's awesome. But Nani more focuses on like you're hiking, you're swimming, you're surfing. They're just like, yeah, I guess there's really no other way to say that but that. So I prefer their swimsuits because... They're not like super tight where they're like your chubs hanging over your swimsuit, but they're tight enough to be like, I can literally go water skiing and my top's not going to budge. And I love that about it. Another thing I love is that the patterns and colors are always so good. Um, so they're actually releasing a new um, collection on my birthday today. And my favorite suit is royal blue. And it's actually my favorite top and bottom and it's no coincidence that it's like my favorite color favorite style so freaking love um but anyways it's like super colorful super funky it's just so me and I'm just like wow like that's no coincidence that's being released on my birthday um but anyways so if you want to try them out it's Nani Swimwear and I actually have a code it's Caitlin K A I t-l-y-n and i think it gives you like 15 percent off so if you want to try out their swimsuits they have little girls swimsuits and then they have extra extra small to extra extra large so that's my current hyperfixation i literally have so many i actually do collaborate with them quite a bit like i'm obsessed with them so it really is like a dream to work with them um and i'm like constantly spending my own money on them too And yeah, I just like am so obsessed with this new collection and I'm just like, like low key, like what the best collection came out on my birthday and it's like, so me, it's like, is that weird? It's a little weird, like in a good way. That's my hyper fixation. I like want to buy it all. Oh, and they also come out with like outdoors clothes. So I got this like cool rash guard and like athletic shorts that are just so cute from the Ibiza collection. I just love it. Everything's so colorful and fun. It's just so me. So I'm literally trying not to keep spending my money there, but it's just hard, you know? Oh, but I wanted to update my current TV show that I actually haven't started yet. So I got my nails done yesterday. So peep the new B-Day nails. I'll put them on my podcast because we love. Um, So... My friend who actually does my nails, her name's Casey, she was telling me about how she's watching Love is Blind on Netflix and I've heard so much about it. I've heard tons of people talking about it. Even Travis Kelsey himself is talking about it on his own podcast. He's trying to get his brother to watch it. So I'm like, Loki is Taylor watching it too? Mm, so, um, but anyways, she told me like kind of what the plot's about or like what the show's about. And I was like, yeah, that literally sounds so good. So I'm planning on starting it um oh okay so I wanted to talk about some things I like talking about trends or things I'm seeing on uh TikTok (laughs) because your girl is a consumer on TikTok for sure but Kate Middleton where the heck is she at and is she okay did her husband cheat on her did he not cheat on her did she just have plastic surgery and needs six months to heal does she have a doppelganger like filling in for her like I'm seeing all these TikToks and I'm like girl Kate are you good and I'm also wondering like why Prince William like hasn't had a trans a hair transplant yet it's like bro we know you're rich like just go get some hair anyways but do whatever you want because like what's your life but that's what I thought about I was like bro you could go get some hair if you wanted like I'm sure it's not an issue, but it's whatever. Maybe he just doesn't have the time. It's like, bro, you already have a buzz cut. So anyways. Um, okay. Isaac and Allison Rochelle 
you will always hear me loving on them because they're one i love that he's just so obsessed with his wife two they're so funny i just love anything they come out with but specifically allison just got her hair done and isaac made a whole video about hyping his wife up in her new hair and i was like why is that the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life like guys why can't we hype up our girls Labber does like an okay job, but he's just not a hype guy. And like, I'm literally, it's like not a big deal because like, we can't really have like two hype people in a relationship because that's just like, that's just much, but I love that for her. Oh, Drake Bell. I have not seen the new documentary one. I'm like, do I want to, but I've literally freaking almost seen the whole thing because of TikTok. Um, and the 10 minute freaking episode clips from the documentary. So it's like, I practically have seen it, but I also haven't, but it's literally just so depressing that like these people we grew up watching is literally like had the most terrible things happen to them. But anyways, I've been meaning to watch it. So that's another thing I'll try and report back on is one love is blind and two the Drake Bell documentary. I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen it, um, on TikTok, but like. Anyways, crazy. Oh, and Amanda Bynes. She's so crazy. I love, I love, 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 loved her. I grew up with her. So she was like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, like Amanda Bynes, like those people. Oh, Hilary Duff. Like I grew up being like, they are the people like I want to be when I grow up. Like how, like their style. Amanda Bynes was one funny and came out with like the best movies and so to see her like so wrecked right now in like her late 30s is so depressing. Like I really love her. Like I kind of want like I don't know like how you can just like go back to like I don't know. I don't even know like how to like properly express it, but like I wish she could just like snap back to herself, but obviously I don't really know what's ever happened to her, but I'm assuming like bad things because all these child actors are like ay 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 it was terrible so anyways so I'm trying to watch that but I'm also like Amanda Bynes please like I love you girl like come back come make some movies again but do we think she's too far gone like that she'll never like be like she'll never be the same obviously because traumatic things change someone but, like, do we ever think she's going to, like, come back? I don't know how to say it. So, anyways, sorry if I'm confusing you. I'm confusing myself. Um, But we're moving on. Oh. <laughs> so, I've been watching this guy um, at Zared Mance. He is pretending to go back in time and give people things from our day. So, like... One of the funny ones was like me going back in time and giving someone with the bubonic plague like Baja Blast. And they're like, what is this? And he's like, Baja Blast. And then like he'll go back to like Jesus' time and be like, try, like being like, I'm going to heal someone. And he gives them pop rocks and they're like, what is this? It's so funny. So funny. All his videos are just like popping off and they're just on point. So anyways, I just been LOLing at that. Um, oh, another one he gave someone was Takis. <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, okay. Okay. That's like it for like TikTok and stuff, but those are the things that I'm like really loving on TikTok. Well, not like loving because obviously the Drake Bell stuff and Amanda Bynes stuff is like really sad. And also Kate Middleton, girl, are you good? But like everything else is like pretty funny and like lighthearted, but I just wanted to bring that up to see if our for you pages are the same. Maybe they're not. Mm, so anyways okay but I also wanted before we get into the topic I have one more thing I just wanted to talk about and and before we get into the topic I just have one more thing I wanted to talk about and it's that my April is gonna be popping off so first week of April spring break trip with my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and she's my sister-in-law is from California she's a blast she's the planner in our family like oh, we should do something fun, planned it. Like, we go and do it. Like, she's amazing. She's super fun. She loves being outside. Like, going on trips with her is ideal. So, I'm going with them. Um, Hopefully, I can, like, 
be fun and help with kids and like make the trip fun. So I'm just grateful for the invite. Then my girl, Sarah Adams, she's an author. She's coming out with a new book. Her stuff's like very Hallmark. It's, um, there's like no spice really. It's just like lighthearted, minimal, depressing parts, like when they break up and stuff. And I just love her stuff. I can, it's a quick read. The books are always pretty short so like you can read it in a day or two if like you have a life anyways. So excited for that. I think it's like about a football player and his manager so anyways I'm excited um so I'm looking forward to that book coming out and then tortured poets department is being released in April so looking forward to that I pre-ordered my cd um your girl still has a cd player in her car because I got a 2005 honda pilots my dog mom car um paid off no payment not trying to flex but a little bit um So I'm going to pop that right in. But I like low-key hate putting CDs in my car because then I'm not getting that playtime on Spotify for my Spotify wrapped at the end of the year. Anyways, struggling, you know. But okay, yeah. So I'm excited for that. And then my friend Emma, she is my high school bestie and right all all the time bestie. Um, We're going on a girls trip. She her job is brutal. She be working. She be working more than eight hours a day for sure. She puts everything she has into her job, which reflects because they love her. She does so much for the company that she works for. And anyway, so we're going on a girl's trip. We're going to the Pacific Northwest. That's my parents live in Washington, but we're going to go to Oregon first. We're going to drive straight to um, Cannon Beach, which is probably one of my top five favorite places on earth. And we'll spend like a couple days there. We'll head up to Seattle. She has a friend who lives there Um, and we'll hang out there for a day or, or so. And then we'll make our way up to Bellingham where my parents are from or just north of Bellingham. And we'll just do every day. We'll just do something outside. Super fun. We're going to be hiking to waterfall. going to be in the outdoors. And it's going to be so fun. And the ocean is going to heal our soul. So that's another thing I'm looking forward to. And then, yeah, just more senior photos and stuff for April. March is almost done. So I just have a lot to look forward to. It's starting to get really busy for me. At the beginning of the year, we had, like, nothing on the books, and I was, like, low-key depressed, but now I'm, like, getting super busy that I'm, like, ooh, I'm kind of overbooking myself, but YOLO, you know? But, yeah, that's it. I'm just, look- but I'm just looking forward to April. I hope you guys have some things you're looking forward to, but now it's topic time, people. We are doing a B-Day Q&A, so buckle up. I'm answering some of the questions that you asked and starting off strong favorite thing about disney because i have a disney trip coming up so i just felt right you know favorite thing about disney and credit coaster and gardens of the galaxy yeah and big thunder mountain and space mountain okay big four i love riding rides i think that's my favorite thing yeah okay easy next What do you want to happen this year? I want to visit my friend Ikaika and Molly. They're moving from the North Shore on Oahu to um, Maine, where Molly's from. And they said they're moving to about 45 minutes from Portland, Maine, which I've always wanted to go. So they're moving there this summer. One, I hope I can see them on their way. They're flying to the west coast and then driving their car that they're shipping from either California or Oregon all the way to Maine which I think they're gonna have the best time doing like having a road trip like that is gonna be so fun they have two dogs um and yeah so I hope I can visit them either like late like early fall or like middle of fall where like the leaves are changing I think that'd be magic so I won't be devastated if it doesn't happen but I'm going to be super pumped if me and Kalak can visit them. They're just two of the best people. So I think that's what I'm looking forward to, even though it's not for sure. If you could be any age forever, what age are you choosing? I'm going to say 30. I feel like that was the best year of my life. 
And not going to lie, 31 started off a tiny bit rocky. I just feel like I've been like anxious this year, which is so weird because I feel like I've kind of kicked the anxiety for a bit, but I'm like struggling with it. So I was kind of like a little worried and I'm like, ooh, we're coming off from the best year of my life. And now I'm like, yeah, yeah, 2024, you know, but I would, yeah, I would say 30. We just had the best time. We went a lot of places. We spent good quality time together. We, we just had such a good year. Even Colossus says so like last year was such a good year. I even was worried coming into 2024 thinking like, how do you top a good year like that? But things are being, things are really good. So I'm excited. I think that 31 is going to be just as good, but I will say 30 was chef's kiss. Kala's biggest red flag. Oh, I don't know. Probably that like, he's just not a worrier. And like, don't get me wrong. That's good. But like, he has a hard time understanding when like I'm worried or like upset about something. So like, if I'm trying to like confide in him, he'll be like, oh, just don't worry about it. Like, it's not that big a deal. Or like, don't let it bother you. And I'm like, okay, well, like, I just can't be like, okay, not bothering anymore. And so like, sometimes it's like, I don't know to like, it's hard for me to confide in him because like, we don't match up with like getting over something. Um, if something's bothering us or like anxiety or this and that, like he doesn't have anxiety. He doesn't worry. Like, I love that for him. But to me, I'm like red flag, dude, you can't just be like, Hey, don't worry about it. Or like, it's not that big a deal. Like, don't let it bother you. It's like, okay, like those don't, that's not helping me. I can't just like snap out of it right away. Um, anyways, so I don't know. Anyways, to me, I'm like, I wish, like, I wouldn't say that's like red flag because I would love not to stress, worry, have anxiety and stuff. And like, I love that he doesn't have those things, but it's just hard to relate to him when I'm like, yeah, going through that, going through stuff like that. So I guess, like, that's his red flag is, like, he doesn't know how to, I don't know. But he is, like, my person that I, like, am comfortable around and, like, love. I don't know. Am I making any sense? He doesn't really have red flags, thank goodness. I'm I'm sure he has a few others. I just can't think of them right now, but we will move on. Book I'm looking forward to reading most. Oh, funny story by Emily Henry. I love Emily Henry. She is probably my all-time favorite author. She wrote my favorite book, Beach Read. She's also read like People We Meet on Vacation, Book Lovers, Happy Place. I love her. So I'm very, 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 very excited. (gasps) That's coming out in April too. April's just a good month for me. So that's the book I'm looking forward to reading most. Who's your celebrity crush and does it look like Kala? (laughs) Who is my celebrity crush? Oh, it was Miles Teller when he was in Top Gun. So when Kala had a mustache for a second, I was like, like, yes, sir, we love. You're so cute. Um, but he hates mustaches, so R.I.P. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'd probably say Miles Teller was like my last celebrity crush. So it was a minute ago for sure. Jacob Elordi or whatever his name is, he's pretty cute too. And he's got an accent, so. Ooh, Travis Kelsey. Okay, anyways, that's enough of that. But no, none of them look like Kalaf. <laughs> Favorite way to treat yourself. Buying stuff, spending money. Yeah. I I do want to say, though, I have been so good at not spending recently. Like, so good. I mean, I have my moments, but I have been so good. So, if I, like, have money to spend, I'm spending it. I'm buying something. I have an ongoing wish list. That's always a thing. If I buy something, it's okay because there's still, like, so much on the wish list to buy. So, I will never run out of things to buy because I literally want all the things. That's probably my red flag. I'm a consumer, but I'm trying not to be. Dream podcast guest. We've already talked about this. Taylor Swift. But not like your generic questions. No, we're getting down and dirty. We're asking Taylor Swift, what's your favorite fun drink? What's your current hyperfixation? What TV shows are you watching? Like, we want to know 
the the big hitters, you know? Like what's on your wish list? Do you have a wish list? Are you a spender, a saver? Like you know, literally so many questions. Like that's not even that's not even close to all of them, but I'd be like, what's your love language? What's Travis's love language? Like, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I feel like that'd be awesome. Or literally anyone hilarious. Like, like Theo Vaughn, he'd be so funny. Um, Jack Black, Adam Sandler, like literally. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. Love that guy. Like, he's so cute, so funny. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Newport Beach or... Hawaii. Hawaii, I love Hawaii. I feel like I could live there, but I would feel sad because I'd be poor. Um, and so I wouldn't be able to leave that often. So like living in the States is nice because it's like, oh, we want to go camping in Wyoming. No big. It's like a four and a half hour drive. But like Hawaii, it's like, dude, you're stuck and you need to save your money to buy plane tickets if you want to leave. So I'm like, I would love living there because I'd love like hitting the beach and like living in, you know, but it would be hard because when you're there, you're like, groceries are expensive. Living there is expensive. So there's a lot of, like, cons, but there's, like, so many pros. There's so many pros and cons to living in Hawaii. The only, literally the only cons are pretty much, like, it's expensive. So it's hard. It'll be harder to save money. Um, but Newport Beach, I love Newport Beach. Um I'll get a Balboa bar every day. I'll be hitting up the beach, jumping in the waves. It'd be, it'd be good. So, okay. One last question. What, what does your dream life look like? Living by the ocean or a body of water. Like I'm cool with living on a cabin and by a lake and also having a pontoon boat and burn and Pete living forever. That's my dream life. Yeah. Honestly, owning a pontoon boat and Burn and Pete living forever would be, like, perfect. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for celebrating my birthday with me and listening to me yap. And I hope you guys have a good, fun weekend and that the weather's getting good. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye!